Hello and welcome to the session. Today we will continue with essential English grammar. By now you have realized that essential English grammar is only going to serve as a backdrop tool. It is going to strengthen your subconscious sense of English and make you profound. But the primal techniques are the primal techniques. They are the ones that are going to give you fluency. Not that essential English grammar will not help you with your fluency. Even essential English grammar will give a huge fillip to your conversational skills. But it is the three methods that I have taught you. The spontaneous speech method, the shadowing, and of course, the coterie talk. These three are going to give you the maximum benefit. And please make sure that you are doing your coterie talk. I know that the other two are individual exercises and probably doing things at an individual level is easier than doing things at a team level. But make sure that you are doing well with the coterie talk as well, because if you're not doing coterie talk, you're missing out on some vital practice. Uh, you have to deal with people. And when you deal with people and when you are in these day-to-day -day conversations, your uh, speech, your conversational styles, your communication skills and your confidence all will not be of a level that they can achieve if you regularly practice Coterie Talk. So make sure that you do not miss out on Coterie Talk. I'm sure at an individual, since the other two are individual exercises, you are doing them uh, regularly. What did you say? You're not doing them regularly? Now, come on. That will invite wrath of the English God. There is, let, let's assume there's a God called English. Okay. So the English God will be very, very angry if you are not doing spontaneous and shadowing. Coterie talk is important, but the other two are individual exercises. There can be no excuses why you didn't do them on a regular basis. If you missed out on one or two sessions, no problem. Even if you missed out thus far, start now, start now. And for goodness sake, practice these methods regularly. So before proceeding, let's say hello to our learned participants. Then we will have an exercise on indefinite pronouns. Thereafter, we will request two of our learned participants to demonstrate their skills at spontaneous speech. And then, then we'll say goodbye to one another. That's it. Okay, let's say hello to our learned participants. Now, this hello is also an important part of the lecture. I do feel that you understand that because when you are interacting with the live participants and they're coming up with their own thoughts as to how they are and what is happening in their life and how things ought to be, how things ought not to be. They are speaking in English. Not that they are not speaking in English otherwise. In the Coterie talk, they are speaking in English when they're doing shadowing and when they're doing spontaneous. They are, of course, doing a lot of speaking in English. But this, again, is another opportunity to express yourself in English and why not avail of every opportunity that comes your way, every opportunity to speak in English. So let's say hello to our learned participants. Here we go. All right. Good evening, Sanjay. Good evening, sir. How are you? Oh, fantastic. Oh, I have never been better before. And how are you? I also have never been better before. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. So, how was your trip to Rajasthan? So fantastic. Fantastic. A dream ride it must have been, right? Yes. <laughs> it's, always, it's, it, it's always a good idea to meet your loved ones. So, share a couple of experiences from uh, the trip. What did you do? So actually, uh, family uh, functions uh, so for two days only trip up and down. So, very busy to do. <laughs> Okay, so it was more like being uh, on the transit at all times, right? Moving. Okay, good. Even movement teaches you a lot, right? Even when you're yes, moving, uh, you, you get to learn lots of things. Just by watching the roads, you learn so much. Watching the trees that are passing by, you learn so much. Watching the people and their expressions, uh, you know, teaches you so much. 
So traveling itself is a great learning experience. I can tell you, I love to travel because I love to learn. And I, when I, when I travel, I don't read any books or I uh, do not quite focus on uh, even audio books. I always try and keep my mind open to, to the roads that I'm traveling, to, to the trees that are passing by me and, and the people that I'm getting to see, children, women, men, all of them. Strange expressions, weird expressions, happy expressions, sad expressions, all kinds of expressions. So you learn so much when you travel. So thank you, Sanjay, for joining us. And uh, I hope you find this session an enriching one. All right. Moving on. Lekha, good evening. Good evening, sir. How are you? <laughs> I am fantastic. Oh, I have never been better before. And how are you, Lekha? I have never been better before. I am on top of the world. <laughs> you are on the top of the world. Great to know yes. that. And so you shall be all your life. My prayers and good wishes are with all of you. Lekha, well said. Thank you for joining us. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, moving on. Manisha, good evening. Good evening, sir. How are you? Oh, great. I have never been better before. And how are you, Manisha? Same, sir. I have also never been better before. Wonderful. Great to know that. Great to know that. And you will be better, still better, even better, best, better than the best, better than the better than the best, and so on. And every day will be so enriching and so wonderful for you. Right? And you, you so will much. be you will be on the top of the world, right? You will get all kinds of success. All successes that you aspire for will be yours because you have that zeal to work on yourself and become a better version and still a better version and even a better version of yourself. So you'll keep improving. Well done, Manisha. Great to Thank have you, you here. Sir. Thank you so Sorry. much for joining us. Okay. Thank you, sir. And, and I... Uh, may I? Sure, sure. Please. I always crave for the blessings and thank you so much for your words. Please keep saying it. Please keep sharing all your blessings on us. Absolutely, Manisha. My <laughs> blessings are with all of you, right? Thank and not just my blessings. I will also like to facilitate your your way to success if I can, right? In every possible way. If you, If any of you needs me at any point of time, you will always find me there hanging around you to support you, right? And of course, you probably will not need me so much because you will be experts. Once you become pro speakers, you'll be able to conquer the world with your communication skills. And of course, your communication skills will take you to great heights, right? No matter what you are thinking of doing, you will be able to achieve a lot of that with your communication powers, with your communication skills. Thank you, Manisha, for joining us. Thank you, sir. <laughs> okay. Right, Sneha. Good. Hello, Sneha. It's not good evening. It's not evening in your part of the world. But still, good evening to you. Hello, sir. Good evening. How are you? I am absolutely fine, sir. Never been better before. Great. You didn't ask how am I? How I am? How? Yes, I'm taking a time to speak to you. Okay. How are you, sir? Oh, I'm absolutely glorious. I've never been better before. Now tell me, why is the energy kind of low when you say I've never been better before? Say it by spreading your arms like this. Oh, I have never been better before. Say that. I am absolutely fabulous, sir. And I am never been better before. Wonderful, Sneha. That's how we like to see you, right? Happy, vibrant, yes. energetic, and inspiring for one and all. You are a great girl, yes. Sneha, and you will achieve great heights. If you want, I can give it to you, give it to you in writing. You are going to scale great heights in your life, right? You will be a model. Thank you, for you will be a model for one and all to follow. Trust me. Okay. All Thank right. you for your appreciation, sir. And you are the pool of talent, and we are learning from you. <laughs> Thank you, Sneha. Thank you so much. I feel feel so humbled and honored when, when you people praise me because your praises are so genuine that I feel truly honored. Thank you, Sneha. Thank you for being a Thank part you. of this uh, 
of this program and thanks for finding time out today again to join us. Okay. Thank you, sir. Right. Kirti, good evening. Good evening, sir. How are you? Sir, I'm very happy. <laughs> I have never been better before. <laughs> good. That's good to know. Yes, sir. I'm... And how are you, sir? Oh, great. I've never been better before. So, what's, wow. <laughs> what's happening at your end? The... Oh, my God. No problem. The, no I have, problem. Just, I have <laughs> just reached home. I was in Monday when I got your message. That class will be started from 8 p.m. <laughs> so, today I become late. Sometimes we do get late. Sometimes circumstances are not under our control. So that's completely fine. In fact, circumstances were not under my control um, because I wanted to start the class early. But, but certain technical issues happened and uh, those issues kind of delayed it. So I've got, I'm learning lessons every day. From tomorrow, um, yes. subsequent sessions, I'll be starting out with the preparations much ahead of time, right? So that I can finish off uh, the class well in time for each one of you. All of you are working so hard. You're finding time out from your busy schedules to attend these classes and practice because it's quite a grind. Learning English, learning spoken English and learning it and speaking it at a level that is considered to be the pro level is not easy. But all of you are working hard. I'm so glad to have you here, Kirti. Welcome again. Thank and you, thank sir. you. Thank you for finding time to join us yet again. All right. Good evening, Isha. Good evening, sir. How are you? Oh, I am glorious, victorious, fantabulous, fabulous, on the top of the world. I've never been better before. How are you? I'm fabulous. I have never been better before. I am the best. <laughs> Great. Good to know that. So if I... If I or somebody else ever again tries to fix you up by saying, are you knowledge personified? Say with confidence, yes, I am knowledge personified. Don't you know? I am knowledge personified. You are such a great girl, Isha. Okay, you the, the successes are waiting for you to accomplish. And you certainly will be speaking like a pro speaker very soon. People will listen to you intently. Right, you'll make such an impact on the lives of others because you will be a champ. You already are a champ, but you will be a greater champ. Right? Thank you for finding time out, Thank Isha. You, Thank you for Thank finding you, time sir. out and welcome again. All right. Good evening, Nitesh. Good evening, sir. How are you, sir? Oh, great. Super great. Supreme great. Supernal great. And super, 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 super great. I have never been better before. How are you? I am fantastic. I have never been better before. That's the spirit, Nitesh. Good to know. And how's your knowledge gathering going on? It's going good. <laughs> right. Reading books regularly. Yeah. Listening yes, to sir. good people. Listening to intelligent people. Yeah, yeah. See, listening to the wise women and men is also something that you will see many erudite and intelligent people missing out on. Listening to wise people always helps you. In fact, it gives you ready information. It gives you information that can really help you do great things. I have seen such brilliant women and men in my life who have helped me. For example, I had a maths teacher in my middle school. Oh my goodness, she was such a great teacher. In fact, you would be surprised to know, I uh, wanted to learn trig uh, trigonometry rather early in my life. So I went to her and I said, ma'am, uh, will you tre teach me trig trigonometry? She looked at me like this and said, you want to learn trigonometry at this age? I said, yes, ma'am because you teach uh, trigonometry in the senior school, why not to the middle schoolers like us? And she thought for a moment and said, well, I probably would have taken it as a joke if somebody else had come, but now that you have come, I'll teach you. And then she sat with me for two and a half hours and taught me all about sine, cosine, and all the stuff in trigonometry. 
And believe it or not, I was an expert in trigonometry by the time I was in standard seven, all due to that great teacher. Because I listened to her, I didn't read too many books. My basics in mathematics became so profound because of that supremely intelligent lady. That, that lady made all the difference uh, in my life. My mathematics was pretty profound even when I was in college, when I was pursuing my uh, um, degree course in physics. And uh, it was a large part of the success. If you call what I did as success, what I achieved as success um, is ascribable to what I learned from her. So wise women and men are always there to help you. In fact, listening to them, as I say, uh, as, I, as I say it often, and this, there goes a Chinese saying also. Um, what is the Chinese saying? That listening to a wise woman or a wise man is better than reading a thousand books. That doesn't discount the reading part. Please keep it in mind. Listen and also read. Okay. Thank you, Nitesh, for finding time. And uh, I hope you don't mind my constant, constant uh, streak of advice that comes your way. Yes, they don't mind. I really appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to, I was thinking, <laughs> well, I don't mind that much, but a little bit, maybe. So I was for a moment very afraid. What is Nitesh going to say now? Okay. Thank you, Nitesh. Thank you Thank for you, the appreciation. Sir. Thank you for the appreciation. Okay. Right then. Pallavi, good evening. Pallavi, unmute yourself. Okay. Good evening, sir. How are you? Absolutely fine. Glorious. I've never been better before. And how are you? I have also never been better before. Wonderful. <laughs> Say it with more energy. I have never been better before. More, sir. more, more, more. I want more. Come on. I have more never energy. been better before. I have never been better before. On the top of your voice. I have never been better before. Say that. I have never been better before. Yes. The reason so why. Voice. Yes. You know why I make you do this? Because when you come out of your shell and you shout or you spread your arms and, and, and actually speak with a lot of confidence, it brings you out of those, uh, of those conscious chains, those conscien conscious uh, jails, the jails that have been raised for you by your conscious mind and which keeps telling you, hey, you cannot escape these prisons. You will always be imprisoned by these, by these uh, walls within. You'll be confined to these walls that are created for you. It's important for you to break those walls and come out, right? Let your spontaneity take over. Let your better self take over. Let that self of yours, which is uh, self-impeding, not be the controlling force, right? Let that self of yours, which liberates you, be the controlling force. Pallavi, it is such an honor to be having these sessions with erudite and learned and brilliant students like you. I cannot praise you enough, Pallavi. You are a silent achiever. You never mention how accomplished you are. You are very accomplished already and your dedication and devotion to this course are exemplary. I am really honored to have you as a student and I'm sure your co-learners also are so happy to have you in this training program. Thank you, Pallavi, for joining us. Right. Thank you, sir. Okay. So I am lucky that I am part of this training program. Thank you so much, Pallavi. Thank you so much for your very kind thoughts. All right. Moving on. Seema, good evening. Good evening, sir. How are okay. you, sir? Oh, <laughs> great. Victorious. Flamboyant. Exuberant with every cell of my body dancing to the tune of the cosmic melodies. I have never been better before, Seema. And how are you? I am also, sir. I am also on the top of, top of the world. Now, see, you are and, on the, Yes. <clears throat> Go on. Finish. And, it. sir, you should... Huh, yes, sir. Uh, I just pray to God to 
give you that kind of energy and the positivity you have always blesses you so thank you seema thank you so much just take care of yourself sir i will i certainly will i certainly will thank you for your concern all right with uh, the hellos coming to an end let's move on to the next part of our lecture and it's going to be the exercises so all of you be ready to solve exercises on indefinite pronouns now what are indefinite pronouns well when we talk of things that are not definite that are not specific what kind of expressions are used when we do not intend to pinpoint at somebody when we intend to talk of generic things for example i can say i can use expressions like somebody someone nobody no one everything anything all and some all these expressions can mean anyone and everyone even anyone and everyone are indefinite pronouns why because we are not pinpointing at any at at somebody i'm not saying hey look that is sanjay hey look that is lekha look that is nitesh look that is manisha look that is sneha i'm not saying that i'm saying anyone everyone all some that those are the expressions i'm using that is why they are called indefinite pronouns because they do not have this definite aspect about themselves now theory does not help we know that so let's move on to the exercises and exercises and solve them if you solve them you will understand them better here we go all right right then so indefinite pronouns right very interesting quizzes these are going to be and i'm sure you'll enjoy them okay moving on with the exercises now exercise 1 now, i'll not be solving the problems for you right i've stopped that practice you will have to take it up from the first problem right away sanjay yes sir excuse me one second just give me a second okay fill in the blanks with the appropriate indefinite pronoun now the hints are there for you dash seems to be enjoying the party which one is the most appropriate everybody seems to be enjoying the party perfect everybody seems to be enjoying the party everybody seems to be enjoying the party we are not pinpointing at somebody we are just saying everybody is enjoying that's what we are trying to say okay okay lekha is there dash you need help with is there dash you need help with pick up the is right there hmm is there something you need help with oh spot on lekha is there something you need help with perfect okay kirti yes sir one second dear sir all of the students hello hello kirti i haven't i haven't read oh. the question yet actually you are not reading so i think i should read i haven't read the question yet kirti let me read it right i know Chacha Chaudhrys are all around me. I know that. Okay. Right. Dash of the students have submitted their assignments. What is the what is the answer for you? All of the students have submitted their assignments. All right. Now here you might note your answer is correct. All and some. All and all, some. some uh, both none. Uh, both can come here. Yes, but all sir, some. Sir, none. Sir, none of the students has no assignment. Yes, it should be has. So none cannot come. You're you're spot on again. So yes, you're all of the students again. and some of the students have. Absolutely uh, right. Absolutely right. Thank you. Thank you for correcting me. 
all of the students have submitted their assignments is correct. Some of the students have submitted their assignments is also correct. None cannot come because none is singular. And that is why none of the students has submitted their assignments would be a correct sentence. But since we have yes, the expression have over here, either all or some can be used in the sentence. Spot on, Kirti. Well done. Okay, Nitesh. Dash is possible if you work hard. Anything is possible if you work hard. Anything is possible if you work hard is correct. And probably, probably, everything. you can also use everything is possible if you work hard. Even that yes. is not going to be an incorrect sentence. But anything is possible if you work hard is certainly more musical to the ears. Right? Appear sounds better. Spot on, Nitesh. Well done. Manisha. Dash of the books is a good read. Sir, I think in this, either or neither, both will work. Either of the books is a good read and neither of the books is a good read. Either and neither, both will do. You are spot on, Manisha. Each of the books is a good read, probably will also fit in. Right, although it doesn't sound all that good, but it'll, it'll still fit in. It's not an incorrect sentence. So all three options, any of the three options, can be used. Well done, Manisha. All right, Neha. Dash people are afraid of heights. Some people are afraid of heights. And Perfect. we can also say many of... No, okay, that's it. Ma no, some people... You, are, you, you, you actually were correct when you said that many can also be used over here. Some people are afraid of heights. That's correct. Many people are afraid of heights is also correct. Few people yes. are afraid of heights. Well, that doesn't sound good to the ears. So yes. we will rather not speak that way. Some and many can be used <laughs> over here. Any yes. of the two expressions can be used over here. All right, Isha. Did Dash call for me while I was out? Did anybody call for me while I was out? And Spot did on. somebody call for Spot on again. Okay, Anybody sir. and somebody both work over here. Well done, Isha. Well done. All right, Pallavi. Dash of the guests have arrived. Pallavi, dash of the guests have arrived. Uh, me, some of the guests have arrived. Yes, some of the guests have arrived is correct. Arrived. Can we also say many of the guests many have arrived? Guests have arrived. Many of the guests. Even that is correct. But none cannot come because none, none is singular. Yeah. Because none singular. could have been used only if we had the expression has. And has. since have is there, you cannot possibly use, you cannot possibly pick up none over here. Many and some, either of these two expressions will do. Vamsi, you have joined us late. We are doing indefinite pronouns, right? Uh, of course, you've joined us late. You you did tell me that you would be late today. So I'm sure these, uh, also, although you haven't done theory, we didn't do theory today, by the way. We did theory long back. So you can still uh, give me the right alternative. Dash is better than nothing. Which is the correct alternative? Vamsi. Something something is better than nothing. Something is better than nothing or anything is better than nothing mm -hmm. will also Absolutely. do. Okay. One question is left, uh, which will be which 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 is meant for Seema. We'll ask that question soon. We'll be moving on to exercise number two. Okay, I will solve the first one for you. This is slightly hard. Okay, hard in the sense maybe marginally tougher than the kind of exercises that you have done thus far. So, rewrite each sentence using an indefinite pronoun. No student in the class scored less than 70%. Now, I can use the, use the indefinite pronoun none over here. None in the class scored less than 70%. So, the first one I have solved for you. Seema, take the second one. Each cake at the bakery looks delicious. Rewrite the sentence with, uh, with an indefinite pronoun. Go uh, ahead. Sir, we can also say like the, that the, each and every cake at the bakery looks delicious. And you can simply say none every, of the cake. No. 
yes, you can say that also. You can make it negative. You are it, actually yes. in the right direction. Go ahead. Give me the sentences. That none of the cake, none of the cake at the bakery looks delicious. No, that's a or... negative. You have to give. You cannot change the meaning. But yes, you are yes. very close to the correct answer. I'll grant it to you. Each cake at the bakery looks delicious can also be written simply as every cake at the bakery looks delicious. Or you can say none of the cakes at the bakery looks bad or none yes, of the sir. none of the cakes at the bakery looks stale. Whatever you want to write. OK. Yes, uh, sir. Um, none of the cakes in the bakery um, stopped appealing to me. You can just be in as creative as you can and rewrite the sentence with with one indefinite pronoun. Okay. Seema, you are, you are correct. Thank you. Sanjay, okay. neither of, neither or neither, the, both the, I mean, neither is also correct pronunciation. Neither is also correct pronunciation. So I usually uh, pronounce it as neither. So neither of the options seems appealing to me. Give me, rewrite the sentence with an indefinite pronoun. Neither of the option seems appealing to me. Tell me. We already have, see, the why, is, why are these exercises appearing to be slightly difficult? Because we have already used indefinite pronouns in some of them. Each is, for example, an indefinite pronoun. Neither is also an indefinite pronoun. So you have to, uh, probably it will not be wrong to say that you have to change the indefinite pronoun and come up with a new sentence. So come up with a new sentence of yours, Sanjay. Neither of the options seems appealing to me. Nobody of the options seems appealing to we me. Speak, we don't speak that one. Why should we say nobody of the options? Option is oh. not a living being. Nobody, the expression, nobody, everybody, somebody can be used. Or someone, no one can be used when we talk about living beings. Living beings, especially human beings, right? Here, none of the options seems appealing to me will do. None of the options. Just replace neither by none. That solves the problem, okay? But well done, well done. Sanjay, these are tricky questions. You have tried hard and you have come up with... Uh, the correct, the correct idea. So I appreciate you for that and I grant it to you. All right. Lekha, someone should fix the leaking faucet. Somebody should fix the leaking faucet. Spot on. The brainy one. Well done. Okay. Kirti, a lot of students participated in the science fair. A lot of students uh, participated in the science fair. Many students participated in the good, science good. fair. Well done. Well done. Many students participated in the science fair. We can also say several students participated in the several, science fair. Yes. Well done. Well done. Nitesh, none of the items on the menu interested me. It can be neither of the items on the menu interested me or no, my, no, no, my dear. Neither will be for two. two. Here, two. none of the items gives me the impression that there are many. Think. I'm sure you know the answer. In fact, there is no one answer, but you surely can come up with a more appropriate response. Just rewrite the sentence. You can tweak it any way you like. Don't change the meaning of the sentence. That's it. Can be, you know, you know what? There's a problem with Super sharp people, super sharp people like Sanjay, Lekha, Kirti, Nitesh, Manisha, Sneha, Isha, Pallavi, 
Seema, Vamsi and others. What is the problem with the super sharp people? They kind of complicate things sometimes. If, if they're asked an easy question, they don't see the ease. They always will think of something complicated, right? For example, a teacher once asked a very brainy boy, there was a car in the sun. It was there for quite a long time. And when uh, the owner returned to the parking space and got into the car, it was very hot inside. Why was it so hot? Right. And that brainy boy thought about it. Sir, maybe because according to the second law of entropy, and he came up with some, some such answer. And the teacher said, no, that's not the correct answer. Any other answers? Okay, the stiff arms constant. Uh, if we go, if if we actually apply stiff arms constant, uh, if we, since we apply stiff arms constant to black bodies, if we apply it to this, uh, probably we'll have to arrive at an equation such as this and this and this and this, and that is how uh, it'll lead us to the conclusion. It'll lead us to this inference that either two of these options can be correct and one of those two options will be the car will be hot and the other option will be the car will the car is imaginary since the car is imaginary is not a possibility the car is hot has to be the correct answer and the teacher said well done my boy but the simple answer is the car is made of a metal, made of metal and it's a conductor it's a good conductor of heat and that is why it is hot that is the only answer so you are also behaving that behaving and you and many others right often behave like that boy. That boy, by the way, is now talking to you. All right. Okay. So, 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 um, the answer could be something like this. All the items on the menu. Oh, sorry, sorry, that boy. I Did I by, uh, many, by any chance call him brainy? He's not brainy, right? I take back my words. I just was trying to um, <laughs> tell you a story. I'm sorry. I don't consider myself brainy. That's a very bad thing to say. I'm I'm the last person to develop such a narcissistic approach towards myself. All right. Okay. Moving but, ahead. But, do, but do we actually believe that you are very, very, very much bri brilliant and intelligent person? Oh, that, <laughs> is so, that is so sweet of you. That is so sweet of you. All right. So none of the items on the menu interested me. All the items in the menu were boring. All the items on the menu were bad. That's it. Finish it. Right. The car is made of metal, which is a good conductor of heat. Right. That's it. That is the answer. Okay. So, Manisha, moving on to the next question. None of the, none of the, uh, sorry. Number, question number seven. All the attendees enjoyed the concert. Shoot. Everybody enjoyed the concert and none of the attendees enjoyed the concert. Uh, first one is correct. Every attendee enjoyed the concert or everyone enjoyed the concert. Or you can also say none. So if you have to use none, then you can write it. You can rewrite it this way. None of the attendees got bored at the con concert. The meaning comes out to be the same. Right. All right. Well done. Okay. Sneha. Nobody answered the question correctly. So you, you answered me. Nobody. No one answered the question correctly. No one answered the question correctly or all answered the question incorrectly. All answered the question incorrectly does not change the meaning. Right. That is why even that sentence will be reckoned as correct. Well done. Well done, Sneha. You're spot on. Okay, Isha, both of the suggestions, in fact, off should not be there, right? My apologies. Both of the suggestions is bad English, bad English. Both the suggestions are worth considering. Go ahead. Isha. Both suggest suggestions are worth considering. Both the suggestions are worth considering. It's a difficult yes, one. Yes, sir. It's it's slightly difficult, but I'm sure you can pull it off. Go ahead. Either one or either two suggestions are worth considering. 
it is comparison between two all right i'll i'll grant that to you either either suggestion is worth worthy of consideration is worth consider worth considering is correct you can also say uh, neither of the suggestions is bereft of merit or is without merit something like that also right so since these are subjective answers no one single answer can be considered as the only correct answer so what you say is also correct and i grant it to you well done isha okay pallavi many people are interested in attending the event several people are interested in attending the event wow that's why i call you a silent achiever you know composed the composed self the composed self always comes to pallavi's aid no matter what kind of a tempest what kind of a tempestuous set of circumstances she finds herself in she will never lose her cool iron nerves right rock solid cool nerves well done pallavi absolutely correct moving on okay seema this is a simple one this exercise is relatively simple it's not simple it's a cake walk actually identify the indefinite pronouns in the following sentences seema try the first one somebody knocked on the door sir somebody is the answer somebody is the answer well done vamsi many students attended the workshop many is answer many is the answer well done sanjay none of the information is accurate none is the answer perfect lekha everyone is welcome to join the club everyone is the answer correct kirti either option is acceptable either well done nitesh anyone can participate in the competition anyone is there sir correct manisha few people understand quantum physics few is the answer correct sneha anything is possible with determination anything is the answer correct isha several volunteers offered to help several is the answer correct pallavi nothing was left in the fridge nothing is the answer nothing is the answer is correct okay moving on now the next question is to be taken by one participant alone and the person who will be taking it today is 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 going to be sanjay sanjay yes sir i'll read out the paragraph to you okay and uh, you have to solve the entire paragraph for me read the paragraph and insert the appropriate indefinite pronouns where necessary okay now please make sure that you read it well i'll give you 1 minute exactly 1 minute after i finish reading it to look through the paragraph and make up your mind here as the sun rose dash gathered at the beach to witness the stunning view the event attracted dash visitors who wanted to enjoy the peaceful atmosphere dash could resist taking photos of the breathtaking sunrise dash person found a comfortable spot on the sand dash felt magical as the sky changed colors dash of the children built sand castles near the shore as light and warmth spread dash felt blessed one minute to you sanjay read through and then i'll come back to you as the sun rose everyone so are you ready are you ready yes sir i am ready okay go ahead as the sun rose everyone gathered at the beach to the witness the stunning view the event attracted many visitors who wanted to enjoy the peaceful atmosphere nobody could resist taking photo of the breath taking sunrise some person found a comfortable spot on the sand something felt magical as the sky changed colors none of the children built the sand castles near the shore as light and warm spread everyone felt blessed sanjay um your answers are very good right except for a few 
tweaks here and there, whatever you said is all acceptable. Now, as the sun rose, everyone gathered at the beach to witness the stunning view is correct, no doubt. The event attracted many visitors who wanted to enjoy the peaceful atmosphere. Even this is correct. And nobody could resist taking photos of the breathtaking sunrise. Again, correct. Okay, now here, some person found a comfortable spot on the sand probably uh, is not a very good sentence. In, in the colloquial sense, it may, it may pass off as a current sent co correct sentence, but we are not interested in the colloquial stuff alone. We want to be classically correct. So that is why each person found a comfortable spot on the sand is more appropriate. Now, everything felt magical as the sky changed colors is correct. And something felt magical as the sky changed colors is also correct. Here, both options uh, are correct. Either of the options will work. Then, dash of the children built castles near the shore. Several children, several of the children and uh, none of the children. Here, several of the children since of the has been written. Several of the children will do. Although the sentence appears uh, somewhat, somewhat, um, uh, classically disoriented, if you allow me to use the, that expression. But several of the children build sand, sand castles near the shore appears to be better than none of the children build sand castles near the shore. If there had been no sand castles over there, then we wouldn't have mentioned the sand castles at all. You used none, which is correct, but, which is correct. I do, I'm not saying that the sentence is incorrect, but in the overall context, probably none of the children build sand castles near the shore doesn't fit in. It is not in sync with the mood of the rest of the paragraph. Thereafter, as light and warmth spread, everyone felt blessed. You are correct over here. So I won't say by and large, 90% of what you said or 95% of what you said is spot on. And the rest, well, correct, yes. But contextually, maybe it can be tweaked a little. So well done, Sanjay. Well done. Let's move on and solve the next problem. Next, uh, next exercise. Okay, Lekha. Choose the correct indefinite pronoun to complete each sentence. Dash was able to solve the complex math problem. Nobody was able to solve the complex math problem. Correct. Spot on. Okay. Uh, Kirti. Dash of the applicants have impressive qualifications. Yes. Uh, many of uh, many. Uh, oblique several of the applicants have impressive qualifications. Okay, both so you, you, are, are, you, are putting, you are putting that forward slash, also called the oblique, huh? Well, here, you are right. You are right, Kirti. Many of the applicants have impressive qualifications is correct. Few of the applicants have impressive qualifications is also correct. And several of the applications have impressive qualifications is again correct. Okay, all three options will do. And well done, Kirti. Your answer is correct. But, but sir, well, uh, few, few, uh, if few comes here, it, it goes to the negative sense because if there is a few, the few, and only few, it means no, nobody there. No, no, no. That's so I what... think uh, many and several is better. No, Kirti. Um, I beg to differ here. Few will also do. Few is past tense. For, sorry, few, few is uh, plural. And so the word have goes perfectly fine with few, number one. And few will not give the sentence a negative tinge. I beg to differ here. Few have but not... Sir, not... Yeah, if, Kirti, let me finish. If... Kirti, let, okay, me finish. So... let me finish. Right, let me finish the explanation. Then you will be most welcome to come up with your points. Few does not make a sentence negative. If I say... Few girls are wearing pink today. It is not a negative sentence only because few has been used. Few is also, few is also plural. So the expression have will go with few. Many, several, few, all three express expressions are plurals. So that is why if you ask me, any of these three options can be reckoned as correct, right? Uh, you may have a different syntactic impression of English, which is again respectable, as I made it clear right at the outset of this training program that there could be differences in opinion and everybody has a different syntactic impression of English. So probably the word few is not fitting into your syntactic impression. 
But if you ask me, and I, I can tell you with confidence that few will also do over here, KP. Yes, now you tell me what you were thinking. But sir, it should be used with an article uh, no. or the. That's not how it then works. Then sense not... will be positive. Okay, sir. That's not, I got how, it. <laughs> that's not how it works, Kirti. If you are using few, a few we never say. We can say a few will depend. If we are using the article, then probably we'll need a context for that. Few of the applicants over here will be a perfect expression. Nothing incorrect about that. Right? Let's move on. Okay. Okay. Nitesh, dash you need is available in the toolbox. Everything you need is available in the toolbox. Spot on. Correct. Manisha, dash of the options has its own advantages. All three will do. Each, either, neither of the options has its own advantages. Each of the options has its own advantages is correct. Either of the options has its own advantages is correct. Neither of the options has its own advantages is also correct, but probably is not so musical uh, for the years. Probably it is not, um, again, fitting into my syntactic impression, but that doesn't mean that it's, it is to be reckoned as incorrect. I take your answer. I grant it to you. Well done, Manisha. Sneha, Dash is allowed to enter the restricted area. No one is allowed to enter the restricted area. Spot on. Isha, Dash of the information provided is incorrect. Many of the information provided is incorrect. Some of the information provided is incorrect. Both will do. Both will do. Here, few does not sound good. That's why we will be uh, refraining from using few. Although even that may be uh, fitting into somebody's style, that's different. But uh, some and many are correct. And uh, may I ask you, Isha, in fact, yes, sir. why to take a permission? Let me ask yes, you, sir. authority, what is the plural of the expression information? What is the plural of information? The information is already plural, I think. Information. We cannot make okay. it plural. Good. I, I've got what you're trying to tell me. Information can be both singular and plural, right? You could yes, say sir. something like, I have one information from such and such source. You can also say, I have a lot of information from such and such source. Or I have several information from such and such source. All three will do, right? So information is singular. Information is also plural. Just the way when we discuss singular and plural, I told you there are some words which have the same forms, uh, which which have the same form in both singular uh, and plural. For example, a word like dear, D-E-E-R, dear. We don't say dears. It is dear, dear. Likewise, uh, I said sheep, S-H-E-E-P, sheep, sheep, singular. And uh, the plural of sheep will also be sheep, S-H-E-E-P, sheep. We don't say sheeps. Likewise, scenery, S-C-E-N-E-R-Y, scenery. The plural is also scenery. We don't say sceneries, scenery, scenery. We don't say scenery, sceneries. There's no expression such as scenery. Likewise, information, information. Fish, fish. Although these days, fishes is, is also, has also become an acceptable expression. But in the classical style, in the classical English, the plural of fish also used to be fish. We would never say, give me two fishes. We would always say, we would give me two fish or ten fish. We would never say, give me ten fishes. But these days, the word fishes has been accepted. But sheep, um, the, the, the plural of sheep, deer, information, etc., etc., words have not changed. Um, they are, they are the, they're still the same. Okay. Uh, we don't say sheeps. We don't say deers. In fact, hair, uh, long back, even the plural of hair used to be hair. One hair, two hair, 10 hair, 100 hair. H-A-I-R I'm talking about, not H-A-R-E. I'm not talking about rabbits. I'm talking about H-A-I-R hair. But these days we use the word hairs. Hairs are growing. Okay. So, so, uh, well, English is evolving like every other language. Well done, Isha. Well done. 
Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, moving on. Pallavi, dash of the paintings in the gallery are abstract. Some of the paintings in the gallery are abstract. Well done. Some of the paintings in the gallery are abstract. All of the paintings in the gallery are All abstract will also do. None will not do because none is singular. Because, um, because the word are, the verb used over here is are, A-R-E. Since the verb form is plural, none will not work over here. All and some, both the expressions will do. All right. Well done, Pallavi. Moving on. Seema. Dash seems to be interested in the new software. Sir, everybody seems to be interested in the new software. Perfect. Spot on. Well done. Okay. Vamsi. Dash can prepare you for the challenges ahead like experience can. Nothing can prepare you for the challenges ahead like experience can. Spot on, Vamsi. Well done. Okay, Sanjay. Dash of the excuses is acceptable. Each of the excuses is acceptable. Think again, my dear. Get the, get the import of the sentence. What is the sentence trying to tell us? Ask yourself, what is the sentence trying to tell you? And then give the answer. Are excuses ever acceptable? Can I say, okay, excuse number A, excuse 1 is not acceptable, excuse 2 is acceptable. Excuse 3 is acceptable, excuse 4 is acceptable, excuse 5 is not acceptable. Can excuses be accepted by us? Does any disciplined man or woman accept excuses from others? Do we accept excuses? Kisi ko bahane pasand nahi hai. Nobody likes excuses. Nobody likes excuses. So what should be the answer? I've given you a hint. Go ahead. Shoot. Sanjay, the options are there for you to pick. There are three options in the brackets. Pick up one. How can nobody come over here? Please understand. Nobody is for a human being, a living human being. Right. Usually nobody is not even used for animals. Let alone for inanimate objects. Neither of the excuses, Neither of the excuses is acceptable. Now you have gotten there. Well done. Okay. So that brings us to the end of the exercise session today you have all done very well great going if you if you love yourself you will not miss practice if you truly love yourself you will not miss practice now for goodness sake do not tell me that you don't love yourself then you are really going to have it from me what i what are you going to have it from me don't ask me that i'll give it, give to you when you meet me right and you better not meet me if you don't love yourself. You have to love yourself. All right. Today, the first spontaneous speech will be delivered by our very dear friend and one who's already on the way. Each one of you is on the way, but even she's on the way to becoming a pro speaker. And that person is Lekha. Lekha, be ready. Your turns are coming too soon these days. Each one, not just Lekha, everyone's. Lekha, are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay, say hello to me. Hello. Say hello with greater vibrance, <laughs> energy. Hello, sir. <laughs> yes, good. Your 
topic for the day is smile is the best medicine smile is the best medicine smile is the best medicine start yes this is a um, true saying smile is the best medicine and everyone should wear it it's uh, like uh, the best uh, uh, best expression we have but uh, nowadays we have become uh, so busy with our everyday life so we there are so many days when we do not smile and uh, there is a quote like if if you do not smile then that they and that day is wasted so you should we should we all should smile every time as much as we can because a smile gives us pleasure and uh, there are so many things like uh, we should not suggest someone to smile we should be the uh, like reason to make other smile that is it like uh, we we give many kind of knowledge to people many kind of uh, that rubbish thoughts like we should do these things uh, to make you happy and you should do these things and those things and everything no it's not like that you should be the reason to make someone smile <laughs> that is it it's an, like um, if someone is feeling sad then we can like make them happy by knowing what is they are suffering from and uh, uh, relieving them from the pain by saying good things to them it's like that or and uh, we can make someone happy by doing even smaller changes like uh, like uh, many time we are very angry and frustrated and sad also uh, if we are in that uh, behavior then nobody will be happy because of us they will like uh, refrain from us and feel like uh, we should uh, not talk to that person he is very irritating so uh, accept it we should uh, like uh, be a happy person then we can like encourage others to be happy everyone will feel like uh, uh, that is a good person and he is always he or she is always happy we should become friend with these persons and a smile can uh, cure stress also because uh, when we don't smile i have personally felt it like if i do not smile i am just uh, keeping my mouth shut and doing all those uh, household chores and those official works uh, with like a serene face and uh, uh, exp expression of uh, a grave face like uh, i'm the a very busy person then uh, eventually till the evening my mind feels like it is very tired but uh, whenever uh, many time i just uh, I smile and talk to others and just feel like uh, it's okay everyone feels like uh, it is the, just the official work uh, we should not take the boredom of it then if uh, we feel i feel smile uh, like i have smiled enough and uh, not to uh, get bored enough then in the end i feel more energetic like uh, and today i didn't smile much because i had a lot of work because it was monday on monday there is a lot of work in the office so i didn't smile much i was just doing the chores like doing putting the files so much so uh, one of the so in my room was saying <laughs> like a madam lagi padi hai subah se they are doing so much work but uh, like when i came to home to my uh, to my home i was i was very tired and i didn't feel much energy to even cook the food i somehow cook only two parathas just and eat with achar so it is like uh, we should smile if we smile sufficient like if we are feeling happy from inside then it is okay we will feel energetic but if we are not doing so then 
we will feel sad. I have felt it and this is the true fact. Too. And uh, there are so many talks we can do. Like, um, they are not true, but uh, it's uh, spontaneous. So I will do like, you should smile like uh, some children, innocent children, but it is not possible as we are matured. So we generally fake the smile. <laughs> but uh, we should try to do so. Many time I many time I behave like a children because I'm just a free person. I do not think much. I feel like it's okay. <laughs> I'm a child still now. So I behave that way. But many time I have been told I have been told that you should behave like a mature person. Why are you so childish now? But I think it's okay. Life is go life is going on well. That's okay. And we can become like reason for many others to smile, like by helping others. That will give you uh, the inner satisfaction also, and you will you will smile, like you will smile from inside. Uh, that is the. Um, true sense of smile i think uh, that is not a fake smile that is the real smile i think and and like when we do poetry <laughs> we laugh a lot <laughs> that is also a great source of a smile when you talk to your loved ones and your friends uh, that can give you also uh, dekha that should do your time is over very well done can everyone clap for her please Clap with energy. What is this? Okay. All right. Lekha. The best part of the best part about the speech was again your free flow of thoughts. The free voicing of the free ideas. Random thoughts moved across your mind and you just tried to voice them, verbalize them as best as you could. And you didn't make a conscious effort. To verbalize them. They all happened in a spontaneous fashion. You just let the words flow. That was the best part about your speech. Right? As always, you have done a great job. And of course, there is still, you know, 50 odd, 40, 50 odd classes to go. I'm sure by the time they finish and by the time your practice, uh, the intensity of practice goes up. And the amount of practice altogether is, uh, say, double or more than double of what, what you have done thus far. You will certainly be a much, much better speaker. Already you are so good. You're so good. Right? See your evolution when you started out and now when you are speaking with so much of spontaneity, so much of naturality, so much of sweetness, so much of free flow. Random thoughts? Okay, let random thoughts come and I'll speak randomly in whatever way I can. That is the best part about how you do your spontaneous speeches. Well done, Lekha. Let's see what your friends are saying for you. Yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Kirti writes, you have become a pro, dear. You were flowing like a fresh rivulet of smiling thoughts. Completely agree with Kirti. And well said, Keithi. Pallavi writes, well done, dear Lekha. You have done a great job. You spoke with so much fluency like a pro speaker. And then you have two cones coming with, you know, a splutter of colors. And then you have uh, four sets of claps. And then, of course, three sets of this, right? Infinite appreciation, I would interpret. Okay. Manisha writes, it was too candid. Thoughts were coming naturally and I loved it. And there's a heart for you. A lot of love from Manisha. Your thoughts are great. Best thing you said was be a reason of someone's smile. And then there's a beautiful smiley she has sent you. Yeah. Always keep your inner child alive. Well said, Lekha. And well said, Manisha. Indeed, completely agree with Manisha on that. Your The content of the speech was also pretty good although i never quite focus too much on the content because it is your verbalization of thoughts that matters most but the content also was 
quite rich. Very well done, Lekha. Very well done. You are becoming better by the day. All right. Sanjay writes, well done, Lekha. Wonderful performance. Without a trace of doubt. Wonderful performance indeed. Vamsi writes, Lekha, you brought the smiles in your speech. You were very good with your ideas. Keep up the great work. And then there are three wonderful, lovely smileys for you. Right? Isha says, wow, wonderful speech. Your smile spread a positive vibe. Keep going. And then there are four sets of claps. In fact, uh, four sets of larger claps, three sets of smaller claps. So maybe a lot of claps first and then maybe two it down a little and then again claps for you. Something like that. So great. Nitesh says, effortless performance, Lekha. Indeed. Completely agree with him. Effortless, indeed. Effortless performance, Lekha. Amazing. And you spoke with a smile uh, on your lips in the whole speech. You gave the true essence of smiling through your speech. Commendable speech. Keep it up. And then you have this and you have this, right? So, thumbs up and this, which is pretty good. And smile on your face. Okay, he has uh, corrected the sentence. Smile on your face. It's the same thing, right? All right. So, Sneha writes, brilliant job, Lekha. And your smile is very beautiful. Okay, Sneha has also complimented mm -hmm. you uh, for that wonderful smile, the bitific smile that you have. And she has clapped for you. And Lekha writes... I didn't focus on the contents. I never thought today it'll be my turn. So I just spent six minutes. I just spent six minutes saying whatever I was saying. Ha, 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 ha. There's a smiley. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> well done. Okay. Uh, you, sometimes you have to be uh, caught unaware, right? When you expect certain things least, those things come your way. So it was one such day for you, Lekha. Okay. Seema says, you always come up with great thoughts, dear Lekha. Wonderful spontaneity. Well done. Four sets of claps, five sets of thumbs up and four sets of beautiful smileys and four sets of heart for you. Lot of love and appreciation from Seema. All right. Thank you, With, sir. Thanks to you. <laughs> for the lovely I, I, like uh, hmm. earlier three or four days back, I knew that it will be my turn. So I was ready. But uh, today I thought that uh, I had a spontaneous speech two or three days ago. So it will not be my turn. I was sitting comfortably. <laughs> <laughs> but your turn came, huh? Okay. <laughs> yes. All right. <laughs> All right. Now, can I have the rest on the camera, please? Seema, Sneha and Pallavi. Sneha? Okay, Pal Sneha, Seema and Pallavi. One of these three girls will be doing the next speech. And um, Isha, you take a guess. Whose turn is it? Yeah. Hmm? Unmute yourself. Isha. Sir, I think it's, it's Sneha's turn. Ah, well, no, it's not Sneha's turn. Sneha did the yeah, talk a few days back. And Seema did it on Friday. So Friday means Pallavi. the last session. So today it is going to be Pallavi. Pallavi, happy or unhappy about the fact that your turn has come? Ah, unmute yourself. Hello? Yes, sir. Happy or unhappy? Happy, sir. Good. All right. <laughs> Your topic for the day is, and it's a very important topic, okay? Um, important topic because I have talked about this a lot of times and you must, I mean, everyone has heard the best of speakers talk about this very often. And the topic is, you must be careful about what you say in public. You must be careful about what you say in public. You must be careful about what you say in public. Shoot. Good evening, sir. Good evening, everyone. So the topic for my today's spontaneous speech is uh, you should be careful what you say in public. So, yes. Uh, so the topic is uh, like uh, say so much in it. Like whatever we speak in public, we should be careful. Like what happened is we speak, uh, we speak in public without thinking much uh, what is happening around. So it's important uh, 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 that we think before uh, we say anything. 
because if we don't uh, if we don't think uh, before uh, speaking it will be like uh, it will be like uh, if we say something uh, bad to someone so uh, if we say something bad to someone and don't ponder what we are saying sometimes uh, it feels some sometimes it may be like feel bad to someone so before saying anything to us, uh, anything to someone we should must we should be careful what we are saying because sometimes uh, sometimes we say uh, sometimes if we say anything is uh, uh, without uh, without so much uh, working on that without like uh, thinking much about this like uh, there are many there are many things that you have seen like our politicians they say they are politicians they are like they have uh they have authority to like speak in public but we see that what they do like they speak anything in the public anything without thinking much like they they will give they will give many bad comments they will uh, say anything uh, without thinking much about that and that comment will uh, that comment and that thing that they say in public will have bad effect will have uh, bad effect because they are like speaker they are like uh they are like those people who's everybody is listening to so it's important that uh, what they speak they should must think upon that what they are saying sometimes they just give insane insane like speeches in the public which uh, on the very serious topic you you all have must have listened like many many politicians were, are giving are giving and, and have given many like irresponsible irresponsible uh speeches in the public which have very bad effect on the public because uh, what they think that and it go they it is very bad impression on the public they think that uh, they used to think that our politicians have no uh, no like they sometimes some people who follow it they just think that they are like they are saying good they are they just admire it but uh, it's not good because they uh, sometimes they say on very uh, things that are sensitive so those people who are following them they have to think they have to think before saying what they are saying because uh, if the people who are following them when they will listen to them they will just uh, they will just they will just think that uh, uh, that they are right because uh, they are they are they are their leaders so it's more important that uh, what we speak anything in public must think upon that so that i have talked about public but we should also like think uh, if uh, if i am talking about myself so i always take care that uh, uh, if i am not i have not much knowledge about that topic about something i should speak less because uh, to speak something about uh, uh, any topic without have much knowledge and thinking rubbish it's important that you talk less because it will uh, it because because uh, because of that you will not uh, you will not give uh, like uh, very uh, ho horrendous uh, and very like uh, disturbing uh, disturbing opinions on any topic which is which is uh, not good so it's so it's good that you speak less if you don't have much knowledge you don't have much uh, ac much much accuracy and much accuracy on that topic accurate knowledge on that topic so uh, i think i i have person i this is my personal opinion about that that uh, what uh, that what i should do if i am doing public speaking because sometime public speaking is something is uh, when you are speaking in public you are like if you are uh, you are giving some uh, you are only will be speaking in public like public speaker when you are like uh, when many people are following you so your thoughts will be followed by followed by them so it's important that uh, before saying anything or before telling anything to someone you must have knowledge you must have deep knowledge about them so what i think that yes must uh, that one must think about uh, uh, that one must think before saying anything in public because that will uh, that will give that will give uh, like and uh, nothing is striking me nothing is striking me that will uh, that will prove that yes uh, that you have knowledge you have like uh, something that you know you understand 
that what is the essence of public speaking your thoughts will be taken by someone so you should be uh, like uh, thinking about this and this is my personal thought that what i have uh, learned from seeing the public speakers many public speakers and there are many public speakers also that who uh, that who follow that who have, who follow these principles that what i have said earlier they have knowledge they think about what they are saying and uh, those public speakers when you listen them then you just get idea that yes how we should speak in public because that give you uh, because that give you immense uh, immense knowledge and you are getting knowledge from because what they are thinking so they have think uh, they are saying those things with so much thinking with so much like thought and pondering those things in their minds so when you listen these type of public speakers you get so much knowledge and uh, you get like and you get the uh, uh, like think that uh, you can learn something from them so yes i agree that yes we yes, should yes that should do pallavi well done claps for you first of all claps some of you are very stingy with clapping i've i've noted right okay now now the thing is pallavi pallavi can i have you on screen please why did you go off the screen why did you go off the screen unmute yourself unmute yourself actually there was problem uh, with the net Internet. and when okay. i was doing yes all right so no problem a... you have certainly done a good job okay the best part about the speech was you didn't stop anywhere yes there were digressions there were certain ideas which could have been spoken with greater clarity right uh initially it was going a little awry but then you were confident and intelligent enough to pull things together and speak well whether it was coherent towards the beginning well i wouldn't say that but yes it certainly became more coherent more organized as the speech progressed and the topic certainly was a difficult one to deal with i certainly appreciate your your ideas about how careful we should be when we speak in the public even in a one to one conversation you have to be careful i've said this before and i repeat that you should be very careful when you are dealing with your closest of friends and you should deal you should always be speaking to even such friends with a lot of respect don't say anything which can be misconstrued as uh, as as insulting that friend okay so that is why you have to be even more careful when you are talking to a gathering when you're speaking in a gathering when you're talking to the public or maybe you are a youtuber possibly you are a social media personality could be a media personality or you often give public talks or you often have to deal with people you could be a teacher you could be a pro orator you could be just a person dealing with a lot of your juniors and seniors in the corporate sector could be a business person could be an entrepreneur doesn't matter what you are but you have to be careful when you are saying something in the public because remember things one said cannot be taken back the words that once escape your mouth cannot get back into your mouth so you have to be very careful in one to one conversations also in public conversations as regards the performance pallavi certainly well done i do understand that uh initially you were having some difficulties organizing your thoughts and it's not easy to be organizing your thoughts and starting to speak straight away on a difficult subject but but you pulled it off and you pulled it off very well the way you didn't stop and continued to speak was the best part of your performance this is what you need to do i have said this before that incorrect english spoken with confidence is far far better than correct english spoken without confidence your english was correct i'm not suggesting in the least that you spoke incorrect english but yes there were certain things that could have been that could be changed for example when you say um there is no person that who just say the person who right or don't say that who either that or who although who is better that is not better 
And another thing that I've noted is you have stopped saying like. In your earlier speeches, you used the expression like very often. In this speech, you used it in a minimal way, which was the best part, which shows that you are improving. Now, Pallavi, let me tell you this. Please focus on your shadowing. And this is a sincere advice. Have you been working on the shadowing exercises regularly? Say yes or no. Give me a truthful answer. Yes, sir. I have been practicing like, but I have not been doing it for two, three days when I was like coming in my coming to my hometown. So that's why I think I two, three days I have missed it. You know, some of the best practitioners of their uh, art, I mean, some of the best artists, let me put it that way, some of the best scientists, some of the best speakers, some of the best creative professionals, some of the best social service professionals, they say that we have to practice our craft every day. Every day. Not even a single day we should miss it. Right? I'll tell you about some of the linguistic experts that I deal with. Right? There are so many I know. They are such great speakers, excellent speakers. And if you think I'm a good speaker too, you can take my example as well. I never miss practice. Not even a single day. I make sure that I shadow I do my spontaneous speech and I do my own Kotri talk. During my time, doing a Kotri talk was very difficult, but I found my loved ones who could form that Kotri and I made sure that I was doing my Kotri talk. And till this day, till this day I practice because it is my it is my job, it is my passion to teach English, right? Teach English to one and all. Teach English communication, teach spoken English to one and all. And if I'm not good at it, I'm not suggesting I'm good at it, but whatever I am at it, good, bad, mediocre, average, average minus, average plus, no matter what you think of my English, I practice every day, right? If I don't practice, even for a couple of days, probably I will lose control over the, lose command over the language. All I'm trying to tell you is, you too must never miss practice, no matter what you are doing. The best of painters, the best of sculptors, the best of scientists, the best of mathematicians, the best of musicians, the best of political scientists, the best of anthropologists, the best of artists in any sphere, they never miss practice. And language is an art. Understand it. I'm saying this to all of you, not just to Pallavi. I'm saying this to all of you. Please be truthful to yourself. No matter how difficult life gets, do not tell me that you're not getting about 30, 20, 30 odd minutes for yourself. Right? If you want to speak in a nectary fashion, if you want your English to sound musical, if you want to impress everyone with your English, with your communication skills, just give me a second. One second, please. Sorry about that. Okay. So, um, please understand that if you want to be a great expert, an expert in the true sense of the expression, you cannot miss practice. And yes, I did tell you earlier that you have to practice for six months and then you will be an expert. Yes, that's true. You will be an expert. But if you want to keep on improving and if you want to be, if you want to sound musical all your life, you will sound musical even if you practice for six months. You'll be good enough. I'm not suggesting that you will be uh, you will be losing your prowess in English if you if you do not practice but if you practice beyond the 6 month period you don't know what you're going to achieve right you will be respected everywhere so please practice 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 spontaneous shadowing coterie talk i'll keep parroting this all through the course and you i did tell you right in the first session that we'll just be doing these three things for six months and the rest of the things we do essential english grammar linking ideation and lots of other stuff that those will be kind of ancillaries those will support you those exercises will support you but it is these three pillars of english communication 
that will make you truly fluent. If you want to speak English like a champion, a, an infallible champion, never miss practice. And do not give me all this, uh, all these excuses that somebody is unwell, somebody has ex is expecting guests at home, somebody has to attend some kind of a festival, some somebody can't come because somebody is doing something or the other. Everybody has work. Please, if you want to be if you want to look and sound different from the crowd, if you want to be much, much above the crowd, if you want to be extraordinary, if you want to be exceptional, do not miss practice. With those words, I close today. Tomorrow, from tomorrow, I'll make sure that we start the classes early. Today, we did start the classes early. We could have started the, start the class early. We could have started a little earlier, but there were technical issues. So I'll make sure that uh, such nags also don't come our way. Okay. Thank you very much, all of you. Well done. All of you are doing so well, but never miss practice. Okay. Just one thing. I just was, I was just missing out the comments that Pallavi got. Okay. Uh, Pallavi. Now, what are your friends saying? Um, your friends are saying... Seema says, you always come up with great thoughts, dear Lekha. Wonderful spontaneity. Well done. Claps and thumbs up for you. Smileys and heart for you. All right. Kirti says, commendable job, dear. You are fantastic. And then there are many such this. And of course, there are claps for you. You are a soft-spoken person like a sweetie pie. Okay, Pallavi, you are a sweetie pie. Okay, that's a compliment from Kirti. Okay. Seema says, Brilliant performance. One second. Just one second. Uh, Seema, Seema is giving her second comment here. Okay. Seema says, brilliant performance, dear Pallavi. Keep growing. All right. Moving on. Uh, Sneha says, you are also very good public speaker and I'm learning from you how to speak public in the public. Congratulations. And then there are many claps for you. Then Sanjay says, terrific performance. Wonderful. Great job, Pallavi. Completely agree. Okay, the best part was you were, the speech was going a little awry in the beginning, but then you just collated your thoughts, organized them, and you spoke very well. You made sure that the initial hiccups didn't spoil your speech. All right. And Lekha says, nice performance, Pallavi. You were confident enough and you have improved a lot. And then that then that uh, cone, I don't know what that cone is, whether that that is um, uh, an inverted paper cap paper of golden color but it's throwing colors all around right it's kind of spreading colors all around primarily blue that's the icon and your thoughts are so good yes your thoughts are indeed very good nitesh says great speech pallavi you did a fabulous job your ideas on public speaking are worth noting we should always be responsible while we speak in the public commendable performance on a really tough topic and a pair of claps absolutely correct Difficult topic, but you pulled it off very well. Manisha, you did, Manisha says, you did a good job, Pallavi. It's a lovely smiley and claps. You spoke effortlessly and this shows that you are surely on your way of becoming a pro speaker. You are a silent achiever, Pallavi, for sure. And then there's a thumbs up. Thank you, uh, Manisha, for endorsing my thoughts. Okay. Vamsi says, hey, Pallavi, great attempt. Your speech not only demonstrates your intelligence, but also your confidence in sharing your thoughts. Completely agree with Vamsi over there. Isha says, full of confidence and organic thoughts. Great job. Keep growing. And then there are claps. And then there's a writing icon also, which probably indicates that what you are saying are so wonderful that they're worth noting. They're worth scribbling down. Okay. So, and then there are four thumbs up for you. Pallavi says, thank you everyone for the appreciation, but I totally understand that I have to improve a lot. But I assure you, sir, that I will give my 100% and will not miss practice. Thank you, Pallavi, for, for saying that, right? Now, uh, when I say that you have to practice, doesn't mean that you are not practicing or that you your performance is not good. Your performance, trust me, has been a great one, right? And it's even more commendable because you... Pulled, pulled the strings together. They were kind of getting scattered initially and you pulled them together, which was the best part, right? So in this, uh, I so today I'll say goodbye to my geniuses, all of you. Each one of you is a genius and uh, you will be 
genius plus pro speaker by the time we finish. All right. Thank you so much. Good night. Take care and see you tomorrow. Good night, sir. Good night. Good night, sir. Good night. Bye, sir. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care.